what's happening, everybody? It's Sean joining again by my son, Trey. And today on Reactions to Classics, we got a battle with the song, I Love Living in the City, from mm. Fear versus the City Newton Bomb, which brought to us by our friend, longtime supporter and patron of the channel, HP Heath Palace. Thank you, Heath. Appreciate you. Appreciate all the patrons who make this thing go. If you guys support us anyway, check out the Patreon link below or the patron link on the end screen. Trey, we're going to watch the video to both of these songs, the live yeah. performances, man. So tell us a little bit about the Fear version. Yeah, so Fear, uh, there we're an American punk rock band from Los Angeles, formed in 1977, the uh, a great time for punk music to, uh, to get going here. Uh, the band is credited for helping to shape the sound and style of Californian hardcore punk. Uh, the group gained national prominence after an infamous 1981 performance on SNL, and I think that's how I know them, because I remember I playing wonder. that on a, a, a stream before uh, when we were streaming over on Twitch. Um, and yeah, it's quite the wild performance whenever uh, you know the SNL uh, stuff today. Yeah. Uh, frontman Lee Ving has uh, been the band's only concert member. Since its formation, the band has gone through various lineup changes, and at one point featured Flea, of course, of the Red Hot Chili but Peppers. I don't hold that against him. I like him. <laughs> the classic Fear lineup existed from 78 to 82, and it was composed of Ving, guitarist uh, Philo Kramer, bassist Durf, uh, scr Scratch, and drummer uh, Spit Sticks. I had to look at that uh, twice right here. They yep. had uh, five albums. This song is their first single. It was originally released in 1970 on the L.A.-based Criminal Records. We recorded twice, once during the group's unreleased 1979 sessions, and again for its debut album, The Record, which is what we're pulling this from, which is from 1985, mm. so a long time later. The song exaggerately describes a stereotypical turbulent life one may face in Los Angeles, where blood and corpses Oof. litter the streets. Wow, all right, man. Well, we're going to watch this video, and then we'll, uh, we'll get on to the City Newton Bombers version. I wish I could show up to work with my shirt off. Yeah, I guarantee you, man. My house smells just like the zoo. It's chock full of shit and puke. <laughs> Cockroaches on the walls. Crabs are crawling on my balls. Here, uh, we have the lyrics on the screen. Away with words, man. One mm. might call it a, an ode or a love song to the city. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, you know, and that scene looked insane. Now, HP might have been in place there during during that time of his life, but uh, that that place you. Uh, yeah, you have your head on Dude, a swivel. Full, full punk rock right there, yeah. man. We got the good shots of the uh, the mosh pit, mosh pit in there. Guys and, getting bodied, man. Dude, and uh, you know, I've been in a, a one or two mosh pits in my day. Not not any time recent. Those days might be behind me now, Dad. But uh, man, I uh, I love the energy, the intensity here as well. Yeah, man. Um, 
again, just uh, just from the, the beginning. And I'll, I'll tell you what, the chorus, you know, as with a lot of these more hardcore punk songs, actually have a, an, a decent catchiness yeah, to them. Yeah, I was going to say, it's very catchy. It's very catchy. <laughs> and, uh, you know, he just uh, notes, too, that even though his house smells like a zoo and, you know, the streets are littered with everything, that at the end of the day, he loves living in the city because I think that's where, that's where he's from. And no matter how dirty it might be, that's uh, what brought him up. And he'd rather have that than these suburban scumbags out right, here. Right, dyeing their hair and getting fat. Yeah, uh-huh. exactly, man. Exactly. So now we're going to see what the City Newton Bombers do with this. Another live performance. I love City Newton Bombers, a more refined tray, uh, instrumentally more tighter, you know, I would say better done, mm-hmm. you know, version of it. What, what do you, uh, that doesn't mean it's my winner though. What, what do you think? No, yeah, exactly. I thought the uh, guitar solo at the end was uh, fantastic. Blew my socks off, yeah. you know, and yeah, great uh, tri harmonies right there. Um, and yeah, you know, the we've uh, we've done some City Newton Bombers stuff yeah, before and maybe from this very yeah, concert have, actually. So I was, uh, I was familiar with the crowd there. They were having a, uh, Having yeah. a great time, and uh, yeah. Whereas um, the fear version, I don't know. It had some anger, some aggression. This yeah. was more, uh, yeah, like you said, maybe a bit more refined. Yeah, but. really great performance of the song. But in that, we got to go to our winner. And even though if I was going to listen to it again, I'd listen to the City Newton Bombers. But I had to go with fear because yeah. it was pure <laughs> authenticity, right between the crowd, the way the dudes were. And we didn't show you this stuff before or after, but there's some. Oh, there's yeah. some stuff before and after that, you know, crowds yelling out at you to just go, and it's all, yeah. So, you know, it's just for the viewing experience. It's got to be the fear. Dude, yeah. I, I got to go with fear as well. It's a, a musical historical artifact. I can only it imagine is. being around at the, the birth of punk in the late seventies and that, this yeah. going down in California, man. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's yeah that was it was special not for the faint of heart no exactly man and i uh like i said i just i love the intensity and uh just the uh the passion i mean both bands had it but fear was just at a uh at another level for that so i'm gonna tip my cap to them as well but of course we want to know from you down below which of these you have getting the win and what are your thoughts on uh, either of these bands as well let us know as well as show some love to our guy hp for bringing this battle to us and giving a a solid dose of punk to the channel and and uh, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up, that subscribe button. And you, you can check out the Patreon page link below if you want to have us do a uh, battle uh, or reaction for you. But uh, I guess that, that'll wrap it up. That's it. So until next time, thanks for watching. Happy listening. And we will see you.